All right, we're just going to have a look at my pedal board here and uh, whoop, explain what's going on. The guitar cable comes in to the input of the noise suppressor pedal, and then on the suppressor, there's a send port. This cable comes out, runs around into the tuner, and from the tuner, it comes down into the wah pedal, and from the wah pedal, comes out and under into my phaser. From my phaser, we come around into the overdrive. From the overdrive, it comes around into my Fender Deluxe Reverb. Then the cable comes all the way back under to the start of the Black Star Gus G. Now, from here, this goes back to the return port of the suppressor. And then from the output of the suppressor, we come down to the harmonizer, or the harmonist. From the harmonist, we go into the delay. The delay goes into the loop station. And then the loop station goes into the Marshall Super Vibe Chorus, which is stereo output, because that's feeding two Marshall amps. Now the pedals aren't necessarily in running order, they're positioned more for the fact of what I can access and what I use more. So the ones I use more are at the front, because they're easier to step on, the ones I don't use as much are at the back, where I don't need to be stepping on them as much. Uh, so they're not necessarily in perfect running order, it's more about just the positioning of them on the actual pedal board. Now we'll just go back to the amps for a second. I have my amps set Bass is just past halfway, middle's just below, and the treble's a little bit up. That's to give me a bit of a brighter sort of tone when I'm playing clean. Uh, so let's have a little bit of a listen to some of the tones. Now, I'm using my American Strat. Uh, it's all single coil, there's no humbuckers or stacked pickups in here anywhere. Uh, I have the neck pickup tone on full. I have the tone control which controls the middle pickup off. And I only ever use two positions. I use the neck pickup on its own, or I use the bridge and middle combo so that it cancels out noise and buzz. So we'll start with the neck pickup, and we'll just get a bit of an idea of a basic clean tone. And as I was saying, I have my Marshalls set relatively bright, and I have the tone up there to give it a nice ring. So it's got some plenty of a uh, nice bright tone. My main number one go-to pedal here is my uh, Fender Deluxe Reverb, so I'll turn that on and we'll just have a little bit of a listen to that through the neck pickup. I use that mainly through the neck pickup because it's got more twang uh, through the bridge metal setup. Flatter. I use that for heavier distortion. Now what I've actually done is, my guitar doesn't go all the way back to where I'm using the bridge pickup alone. I've arrow-dyed it up the little uh, slot there, so that because what I found I was happening is I was using the neck pickup, wanting to go back to my bridge middle position, but I was over flicking it all the way back to the bridge pickup alone, which I don't use. So I've arrow-dyed it, so really now it's only a four position switch. Neck, neck middle, middle, bridge and middle, and it doesn't go all the way back. Okay, so that's uh, just the Fender uh, reverb pedal. I do use the uh, overdrive to add a bit of lead to it. And uh, what else is in here? I've got the, whoop, lost some signal there. I've got the phaser. Overdrive the phaser picks things up. Okay, so back to that clean tone. Uh, if we go back to these two pickups, I've got my main distortion tone, which is the left side of the black star here. Thanks, 
distortion tone, and that is just two straight single coils. There's no humbuckers in there. I, I actually set all my tone up around the fact that I've got a strap with single coils. Uh, personally, I prefer the sound of it to the sound of uh, my Les Paul with humbuckers in it, which I'll plug in in a minute and uh, so show you compare the sounds. Now, the other side of this Black Star, there's another switch, which is basically the lead channel. And then I can add some delay in there just for a bit more of a bit. And uh, sometimes I'll just use the rhythm with the harmonizer for a little bit of uh, lead harmonies. I should also add that um, my guitars are tuned down a half step to E flat, so if there's anything that sounds odd or different to you know, what you're playing, that, that's, that's the reason why I'm actually tuned down a half step. Uh, really, really, the only other pedal in here is uh, the chorus, which adds in a bit of ambience. <laughs> Gives it, yeah, fattens it up, and uh, then obvious, the obvious one is the uh, wah pedal. Which sounds great both on the high distortion or on a bit of a uh, bit of lighter distortion as well, just on some, you know, on the Fender Reverb pedal. <laughs> Okay, so what I might do is, is uh, switch guitars and compare how the Les Paul sounds through everything. I'll just chuck this over here. You have three uh, minutes left. The snakes come out to say hello. Just put this on. We'll get through this quickly. We're running out of film time. Okay. So, uh, neck pickup, I have the tone all the way on. Back pickup, I have the tone only on about three or four. And just give us a clean tone here on the neck pickup. Clean on the back pickup. So we'll quickly run through the same sort of pedal setups as before just to compare. Uh, the, the deluxe reverb. Start here and compare the, the distortion sound to what it was like with me strapped. Uh, so you might want to drag back in the video to where I was playing the strap through it and compare the tones and then see what you learn about my opinion of humbucker versus single chords. <laughs> shown is the uh, loop station which is the recording loops that's another whole video on its own um, I already do have one in there that's all right for just jamming along to Um, yeah, just I find the uh, humbucker distortion 
just a little too pushy for what I like. Oh, but it's nice and strong. Uh, this particular pedal, the Gus G, the Black Star, just turn that off because those LEDs are extremely bright. Um, it has a very interesting control, this ISF, which takes you from a, a real Mesa Boogie sort of tone. Around, if you turn it around, it's a more darker, what they classify as being a martial sort of tone. I prefer it a bit on the Mesa Boogie sort of side. You know, a bit more crunch. Um, but realistically, um, these sorts of pedals, if you're up after a more mild rock or bluesier sort of tone, don't go out and buy a pedal with a whole ton of gain and then turn it down. Because in my opinion, it just sounds like a weak, lame, half-assed distortion. Um, if you want mild distortion, buy a milder distortion pedal and run that fairly well driven rather than buying a pedal with high gain and turning it down, which if I do that, the gain is on full on this. If I turn this gain down to say just below half, it just sounds it just sounds weak and pathetic. It just doesn't, you know, you're better off buying an overdrive that doesn't have as much gain and just run the gain up on it like that, for example. I mean, once again, that's really just my opinion, and I'm no expert on this. Other people will probably have a different opinion to that, but that's the way I feel about it. If you want a lot of gain, buy a pedal with a lot of gain. If you don't, don't buy a pedal with a lot of gain and run it half-assed. Buy a milder sort of pedal and then drive that up. Uh, I hope I've explained most of the stuff here. That's about it. Uh, thank you.